Little Wars TV is excited to announce our first ever historical wargaming starter set, and we're calling it the Tombstone Tinderbox. You know, we've been working on this for quite a while, and so let's tell the people what comes in the box and why we've been doing it. If you're a fan of our channel, then you know our club is dedicated to expanding the audience for historical war games. We love this hobby, but we know it isn't always the easiest for new players to get started. In April, we aired our Tombstone episode, and if you saw that, then you know the guys in our club really got into it. In fact, as we were playing, we had so much fun that we realized this particular chapter of history is ideal for a historical wargaming starter box. You know, Greg, this is a period history that requires relatively few figures, small table space, and not a lot of scenery. It's a great starter. It is, and it's a great starter for two different audiences. Number one, the new players yep. who need everything, but number two, uh, veteran historical war gamers who just might not be into the Wild West period quite yet. Our Tombstone Tinderbox is a gateway for both audiences. Everything you need to get started fits inside this kit. When you open the box, you'll find 14 cowboys on foot, two mounted on horseback, and two extra horses for dismounting. We also provide you with metal washers for bases and super glue to base your miniatures. You'll get some basic terrain as well. We include a two foot uh, felt ground mat and six custom cardstock buildings that you can cut out and assemble. And 10 trees from Woodland Scenics. We call this the Tombstone Tinderbox for a reason. That's right, everything that is inside this box is specifically tailored for our Tombstone mini campaign. It's a series of four linked scenarios that you can play in one evening. So the buildings that you get aren't just random, they are historical versions of the Harwood House, Fly's Photography Studio, the OK Corral, and everything you need to set up a series of historical encounters. And the miniatures in your set include legends of the Old West, like Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, Curly Bill, and Sheriff Johnny Behan. Our box set includes a scenario booklet that'll let you and your friends write your own tombstone story. Between each link scenario, you can attempt assassinations, hire mercenaries, or bribe local officials. Each decision you make influences the next scenario in the campaign, so not only will you write your own version of events, there's also a ton of replay value. And when you're done gunfighting in Tombstone, don't worry. You can use all the components of this starter box to explore more historical scenarios with Indian Scout Wild Bill Hickok, Lawman Bat Masterson, or Outlaw Billy the Kid. We have so many more adventures ahead, and the Tombstone Tinderbox opens the door to all of them. To play the game, we included a copy of Ruthless, a free two-page set of Wild West tabletop rules. We also have 36 custom character cards, including every historical personality in the story. A gunslinger like Johnny Ringo has his own card, and each card includes a plastic protector sleeve that you can slide over the card. We even give you a dry erase marker to cross off ammunition and wounds. When you're done a scenario, or you want to replay the entire campaign, just wipe off the plastic cards and you're ready to start again. When we said we included everything, we meant everything. You'll be able to open this box and have everything you need to start playing the game immediately. Well, maybe not immediately. You might want to paint your miniatures first. I guess that's optional. And you might also want to buy some more terrain, like additional trees. We'll get you started with 10 fantastic model trees from Woodland Scenics, but if you need more miniatures, or you need to learn how to paint your models, or you want to find more terrain, we introduce you to this hobby step by step. We've got lots of resources for new players, but you mentioned at the start that this is a game that's just as good for veteran players. It is. Uh, all the miniatures, the terrain, I mean, even the campaign booklet in here, you can use that with a different rule set if you're a veteran player that's more experienced with another game system. And we're coming out with additional scenarios you can play with your starter box. My favorite bonus scenario is called Paint the Town Red, and it's based on one of my favorite Clint Eastwood westerns. It's a free PDF scenario on LittleWarsTV.com, and if you buy the starter box, you will already have all the figures you need to ride into Lago and exact some vengeance. Speaking of figures in the box, they are 15mm Blue Moon models. You can play the game and the campaign in any scale that you want, but we chose 15mm for two reasons. Number one, it's cheaper, and cost is a factor for new players. Uh, but number two, no matter whether you're new or experienced, 15mm uh, makes the game highly portable. It's very compact. I love the fact you can play the entire campaign on one 2x2 two two mat. The complete Tombstone Tinderbox kit is $55. That's all the figures, the mat, the buildings, rules, cards, trees, and accessories included. Let's be clear about this, guys. We are not having this box made or assembled in China. We are hand-packing every single kit right here in this club. 
and it's a lot of packing. There's over 150 uh, separate parts that go into this box. We literally cut each two foot square of felt by hand. Ah, yes, this is a very low cost operation. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna get rich doing this, but I do think that what? we can make... <laughs> I do think we can make historical wargaming more accessible for new players to try if they can get everything in one box. What about the rich part? To order your Tombstone Tinderbox and start your own adventure in the Wild West, visit us at littlewarstv.com. We can ship anywhere in the USA pretty cheaply, but shipping internationally is definitely more expensive at the moment. Well, partner, I think it's about time for us to get working on these miniatures and get them set up to play. Couldn't have said it better myself. And now all that's left for you to do is grab your cowboy hat, get a starter box, and write your own adventure in the West.